Crazies, welcome in. It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we're going to be doing some, something a little different. We're going to be talking about a post from Ajax, one of the GFG community managers. He was saying something that I was liking to hear, and I thought I would give my feedback and thoughts on it. Hey, Multiverses fans, now in the future, let me talk to you for a second. Only a second. If you got crazy ideas for the game, share them. You got a fan favorite you want to see, post them. You got a dream idea you think is impossible, believe in them. I like this kind of energy. We see them all and we read them all. Why? Because you are the motivation that drives us to make even cooler things because we used to do the same thing before we became developers. Game speculation is, a, is and always will be fun because playing video games is meant to be fun. I agree, but there has to be some depth. There has to be some weight from the community. Also the dev. The, by the weight, I mean there needs to be evidence of this that you actually mean this you know it can't just be like oh yeah we love to hear it but it's never gonna happen because that's the vibes i get when there's no oh hey wow that's a cool idea we're definitely gonna look into that i think each and every one of you who take the time out of your days to bring joy to our to hours with your fun ideas you contribute more than you will ever know behind the scenes because you inspire us see this is good but i wish they would tell us like what they look at specifically like hey we don't know who they're talking about. They say everyone, but obviously they can't see everyone. So it would be cool to see their see what ideas they're looking at. It's cool. It opens the idea. It opens up the discussion that things can happen. And I like that. But I have a long list of what to go through. You guys can't read it yet. I know he said that there's a lot of things that you want to see that are like, you know, drastic ideas. Like what are your dreams for the game? But I'm also going to go over some things that I maybe aren't too off unreasonable in the future. First that's on my list is guilds. We had that in the uh, open beta. There was no guilds, but there was a tab saying guilds were going to be available. Tony even mentioned it in one of his alpha like showcases. Listen to what he says all the way back in uh, two years ago. The open beta wasn't even released yet. Multiverses supports cross-play and cross-progression, so you can focus on what's important, who you'll play with, on what platform you want. Friendship power! That also means guilds and more social features. Guilds! Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours and see who's really ready for a fight. We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove who's the best. Dude, like that, all, that was said all the way two years ago before the open beta even came out. It saddens me that none of it was uh, involved or none of it was talked about even when the open beta it said guilds coming soon and then the game went down and the game came out again and now it's just poof gone. Not even a word of oh hey so we're just not anywhere near it right now and it's just it's probably not our priority for them right now. Will it come to the game eventually? Probably. I hope so. Adding guilds, adding missions, adding goals to that experience to where you're, when you're in your guild, you can actually work towards something. Receiving rewards like banners, uh, badges, icons, and things like that for either accumulating your points as a guild, or as he said, the guild battles, in-game guild battles and crew battles or whatever you want to call them, you get rewards for that. And then you can be at the top of the leaderboards and be rewarded for that season. And maybe if you build that over time, you could have your own icon or little tag for all the members in your guild, things like that you can earn. And I don't want it to be a glorified friends list or anything, but I do want it to be something that feels like you're connecting on a deeper level with your community. Isn't that right, Jeff? And for those guilds specifically, the battles, they could actually set a date. Someone, a guild can actually challenge another guild and it would give them like a day to respond if they want to do it. And then it would actually set a date. So that way when the date comes, everyone could see it on the front page if a guild is, you know, like maybe high enough on the leaderboard. Or you could go look at a whole list of what games coming up and then it will automatically stream the game when it starts on that date. And it would have some sort of like automatic uh, systems that would just go through the motions. I think that'd be super cool because then you could just look at turn almost like mini tournaments happening that are scheduled out. There's a lot they could do with this, but uh, I think a big thing is uh, exclusive rewards for sure. Next, I wanted to talk about game modes. The game mode possibilities can be endless. So it is very disappointing to see that there are no game modes really. We barely got free for all, which was in the open beta. So all we've gotten, no news on that either. I mean, we know that we're, they're eventually gonna be coming, but it's, it's saddening to say the least that they're not here yet, but I am excited for when they do get added. My most wanted would be a 3v3 or even 2v2 crew battle in ranked mode where you get three of your friends, me, Schism, Howdy, three people, and you go one at a time. So Superman, I go against Jake. If I kill him, 
Uh, he's out of that stock, but if I stay at 128 damage, then I keep that damage and I go against the next opponent, maybe it's a Shaggy, and I try to get as much damage as I can. You guys probably get it, but I just love talking about it and explaining it. It's so good! Dude, it would be such a fun mode, having the potential to three stock someone, three, three different people, like a three stock. Dude, it would be unbelievable. Next up, I'd want Rift missions to be actual modes in the game. Like, for example, you could do volleyball, have that be a matchmaking, or even the jump rope, or the target practice, at least having that being a mode where there's leaderboards and rewards. Turn those Rift modes so that way they don't just feel like they're in the Rift, because they're pretty cool on their own, in my opinion, and you can even make even cooler ones. I don't know what you call this, but 1v1s, but you'd have choose three characters, one for each stock. So once you die, if I die as Superman, I spawn in as Taz, because he might be my second pick. That would be really fun as well. Uh, you could have a queue where you only match up with other Superman players, like a, your own ditto matchup. So that way you can practice on what they do and you can see what they're doing. It might be affect queue times, but you know, it would be an option to kind of let you know, like, hey, it might be a slower match, but I think that'd be really fun as well. Honestly, all these game modes I'm going through, make them ranked mode. Why not? Because you might say, oh, wow, why would you make it ranked when it's not even balanced? It doesn't matter. Just separate the ranked modes. Don't make it all into one ranked where it affects one rank. Make it all different ranked modes for that specific mode. Because look at Rocket League. They do the rumble where there's like abilities that you can use. That's ranked and it's just fun. And like the guild battle uh, tournaments, they should have regular tournaments where anyone can join. Or maybe once a week, or maybe one every day where it's fast. Or maybe you could just queue up whenever and just wait until there's enough players and you can be uh, doing the lab. And maybe you could even play a match and they'll just like let you know, oh, your match is ready. And it will take you there after the you're done or something like that. To where there's an in-game tournament, maybe 16 players in a tournament bracket for 1v1s and 32 for 2v2s. And it actually puts you through a mini tournament. And if you get first, second, or third, you get unique rewards for each of those levels. Uh, Gunfight did a similar thing like this from Call of Duty. And that's something I really enjoyed. On top of that, maybe you actually have Gleemium or Fighter Currency that you have to use to join the tournament. And then there's kind of like a little prize pool, a prize jackpot at the end for someone to get. It just gets that sense of like... A tournament feeling and I do want more game modes basically I, how to describe the game modes I'd want is Mario Party games you know you got your like tower defense the jump rope and a similar game mode that I just thought of is what if there's four people free-for-all but it's three against one and the one person has to live as long as they can and then when they get stocked it goes to the next person and then those three people are fighting the other one whoever wins is the one with the longest time a similar thing like that you could have four people to outlive megalodon who who is the last alive something like that i think it'd be hilarious Stun stupid fun that you don't have to take too seriously uh next up will be customs like what can they do for customs adding a replay a system or a replay like or a photo mode would be fantastic and amazing adding a visual hitbox indicator in the training mode so that way i know where abilities are going to hit so it makes more sense to me uh that would be really nice i know a lot of other fighter games do it and it's very good uh, being able to save m the bot's location to a certain point so i can don't have to reset to default but i can reset to where I was on the map. So that way I can just keep doing it without having to move over and try to over and over. Having more ability options to where I can set the person to do side specials or any ability over and over. It's allowing them to do that. I can practice on parries. I can practice on dodging at the right time. I can practice on counters. Adding all sorts of key bindings with these added options. So that way I don't have to be like go in the settings click a certain button, hit start, then activate it. I want to be able to click a button on my keyboard or even my controller, reset to maybe my favorite. I have a favorites, like favorites one, two, three, like set it to where I normally want to practice or things like that. That'd be such a huge help because I want to get better at the game, but it makes it hard in the training mo mode when I don't have those options. Add it to where uh, in Mortal Kombat I recently played the campaign and the tutorials and it actually has you do combos preset combos until you get them and you can easily reset and try it again and it actually has how you do it uh, i'm sure every other fighting game has that as well that'd be really cool if developers put in their own combos and input made some i know this game is a lot of like moving around and there's not like true combos all the time but there are some little things that you can do like oh dude jab jab up tilt you know like things that you can practice for new players i think that'd be fantastic
And with that, on top of the like customs that give people more options to create their own type of game of like settings inside the customs like i'm talking about affecting gravity you know weight how much damage you uh take you know locking abilities team size speed all that different mechanics to almost give us the opportunity to make our own game mode like i should be able to have the chance to make a crew battle game mode in the settings and then on top of that you could add like multiverse like fortnite customs but into multiverses whoever creates the coolest mode they add it to the matchmaking and then eventually down the road not a priority but having the option like fortnite customs to spawn in your own items make your own maps make your own modes with certain abilities that don't even exist in the game to make a whole different scenario maybe some people might like that not like that because it will take away from what multiverses is but you would kind of have to limit it into like a certain like rift modes maybe like rift modes to where it's not just overwhelmingly but that would be years probably before it gets to that point i think that would just be cool on to the topic of balance this won't be like insane ideas but the one insane idea i have it's not really insane but a uh, creative is like they did with the jake move where you do the nair but then you have to click the neutral special to continue that move i want to see stuff like that being added to the game looking at those options carefully to changing how the game works maybe some wall tech some tech from other games but i want it to feel good so Adding just new tech like that could make a difference. Uh, another thing, fixing jabs. I don't know exactly how you'd fix them. I haven't given a ton of thought, but it just feels like that's the majority of what people go for. So maybe they could look at that and how strong they are because it is the go-to for every move. I personally think you could uh, lower the dodge distance and make it even almost on like every character. There shouldn't be much difference. And how long you are immune for needs to go. You are immune for way too long in my opinion. I want them to find a way to encourage people to use the dodge meter rather than like, oh, I use a dodge meter, I'm in burnout, I need to run away, I need to sit back, I need to wait for that to be up. I know you can be aggressive on dodge meter, but like why, why would you risk that? Make it so some things are less to use, like a dodge jump in the air takes like three, half your bars to do that. I don't know why. Be having the, the options to do crazy stuff, because I think that's another reason why people are going for jabs so much, is because they don't have many options that are stronger than that when they can't move around. I want people to be able to jump around in the air and almost like do some crazy movement to try to hit those more down airs and other specials without worrying that they're gonna go and burn out in the first two abilities. Lowering hitboxes and making them more in tune with where the ability is actually hitting. I feel like there's way too many times where you get hit from behind. It may technically hit from the hitbox, but it just doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good visually representing. It doesn't seem like they should ever hit me facing the opposite direction. Another idea I had that might make it feel better, lower the hit stun on a lot of abilities. So that way it feels like you have to do multiple moves, not just follow the same combo and increase the whiff on not everything, but a lot of abilities. That's really what I have for balance. I might talk about that in a deeper level on a separate video. Uh, now we're gonna go into quality of life. The first up I think everybody wants is the toasting outside the lobby and i thought even on top of toasting maybe you could reject the toast maybe you could send them a burnt toast or maybe an even like more epic toast that's like gold if you really appreciate uh what they did or maybe you could even send them a salt a salt shaker or something like that i don't know i think it'd be kind of funny more career stats being more specific having more drop down menus would be nice the load times make the load times a lot lower i don't know why it's so insane with the like almost every click is like a load time it's crazy make perks easier to uh to change uh, add more perk sets make it so i can change them more often because sometimes i just don't have enough for every matchup add a test build of the game uh dead by daylight always has a public test build that people can download and play i think the multiverse just have the same options so that way they can delay a patch if it's really bad or there's some things that they thought would be good but people the community doesn't respond well to it 
I think there should be a forfeit option uh, ranked after the first set if you really do not want to play. But I do think you need to lose as if you lost the second game. Uh, favorite to friends list, maybe shrink it down because it just feels a little overwhelming. I'm always like, wait, are you online? I don't see you. Oh, look, there's just so many bugs with the friends list. I want to be able to just, oh, boom, right there. Click them, make that a little bit better. And then a really nice quality of life change, I think. Allow people to choose 1v1 and 2v2 and free for all, all at the same time, especially when you add more game modes and stuff. Uh, all right, now we're going to go into stores and cosmetics. Uh, the store, I think, is absolutely terrible. Um, I really hate that you have to scroll down like this. There's so many different options. The new event, you have to scroll down like halfway to actually get to the Cybox store, or you go to the event and click on it. Uh, how I think it should be, not down, but have another tab, just like up here, the tabs up here. Have that in the store where it's featured, and then it shows in big letters and then along with the rest of them for you daily deals custom cart like and then you should have the option to turn off the custom cart if you want to i shouldn't be off the scrolling down i should be scrolling from left to right mentioning that i really wish there was an option to turn on the cursor i really enjoyed the cursor in the beta a lot more it's just like so clunky and at the top i want them to advertise when you go to the store page i want them to advertise new skin lineups like there's no advertising i swear unless it's an event uh, I've said it before, but I'll go over it really quickly. The prestige shop that you have to scroll all the way down for. There are cool skins, but I feel like that should just be paid. Make the skins more themed with prestige. Make a, th a prestige uh, emote that makes a glowing effect. Make a prestige ring out that actually looks like the prestige currency, like all gold and bright. I just want there to be a theme! Yeah! <laughs> Um, a cool idea I thought I would have is a weekly or bi-weekly option in the top right or something in the store where it's a challenge that you can do that you can earn an effect. And that brings me into my next point. It would be really cool if there was options like pickaxes and mold, um, back bling like in Fortnite. Make that for this game like the shark hat, like maybe some the matrix sunglasses to where if you buy it once you have it for every character. Oh, maybe some glowing fiery fists, or maybe like a shoulder pad, uh, maybe like glowing effects on your boots or so something like that. And with that, you have a bi-weekly challenge where it unlocks something like that, where maybe you have to get a ring out, five ring outs within the 30, 30 seconds or whatever, or maybe just one ring out and you get that challenge done. Um, with that, I want more options for emotes. It would be really cool if, if two people did the salt emote, it would combine it into one and do like a salt and pepper. Uh, there is a high, like a high five emote. If both of you do it, it should combine into one and do the high five. I think everyone knows it, but I'll go over it really quick. Uh, character mastery at the beginning. And now my infinite reward is like sometime barely gleamium and there's more per currency. And then I got some toast. Like it's really boring. Uh, a lot of people were saying that instead of selling these Tuniverse skins, that should have been the level 15 reward for your character on that mastery. That would have been way better. And then I have one for 30. And then I have one for fit, uh, like 30 that gives me like the, the effects I was talking about, the glowing fists, or maybe a badge where it shows like, hey, I'm insane at this game. I have no life. And then all the way up to level 100 before your prestige or something, you get a freaking badass gold skin. You know how many hours? I've been playing this game over like 400 hours since it launched. You know how many hours it would take to get to level 100? But if I did, like, you know how sick that would feel? And then on top of that, your account level. At the very bottom, the account level is my uh, level 34, apparently. And it would be really cool if you had a little mini battle pass. I think Fall Guys even has it. You get, you get the point I'm making here. I think it would be super cool and such an easy way to give reward uh, players that would take hours and hours to achieve. The next up is rewards. I'll just quickly go over this. All the game modes and everything I mentioned, I want there to be leaderboards for those game modes. I want there to be seasonal rewards, almost like the top dog challenge where you get rewarded at the end. You should have the same in those other challenges. Uh, rifts. They're going in a better direction with rifts, I will admit, but it's not quite there in my opinion. Not, not, not even close. They say they have mutators and whatnot. Like if you go to the last one in the Superman, they have the uh, beware of the solar powered man. It kind of has their own mutators. Like defeat the virus to the swarm. Like it should let it, that should be just be default. It should let us choose, choose mutators so that way oh you did it on this uh just default version well yeah but i did it with freaking fireballs fr falling from the sky as well 
Okay, punk. So that way you even get uh, a, at least achievement or another badge to say that you did that. And that would be way more fun to me because I keep mentioning rewards, but rewards would be fun to earn. Fun. There should be a boss rush, uh, a boss rush to where you only have one life. That could be a mutator. Oh, one life for everyone. It doesn't share damage. Or maybe you could have a one that shares damage, make it an insane reward. I want the difficult content. I, I know the casual player base wouldn't be able to probably do it, but it's not meant for them. There's other rewards for that. I really wish they would just let me use whatever character I wanted, not Jake or Taz, and I'm forced to use a Shark Week character. I don't like that, man. It's not, you have to ask yourself, it's not fun. I want to play Superman. I'm a one trick. I'm not afraid to admit it. And some people are. I don't want to play these characters when I do these. Gem sets you could do. Gem sets. When I click here onto a rift, whether it be a season one or two, there should be rift matchmaking. Maybe it wouldn't be for every single one because I doubt I would see like matchmaking for those rifts, especially if they're old. Or maybe you could give rewards for people to go back and events into that rift to where there would be incentive to matchmaking. But overall, I want there to be matchmaking. There should be matchmaking up to four characters, four people. Just think of having four, up to four people doing rifts. I think it'd be fun. An hour long video. Uh, I'll glaze over events. I think the events are vastly improved since season one. And all I would add on top of it as of now, add a specific game mode. Oh, cybernetic event. I go into change the game mode. And then there's an event tab with under maybe under other and it's like event and you have to join and play a few games where maybe you you are all in mech suits and you have to like fight each other kind of thing uh i'll glaze over perks just a nice sweet glaze over uh obviously i said well i want more sets but i want to see more signature perks i think they said that i want things that will change the gameplay of my character with these perks maybe there's a perk where it replaces sniper punch with a laser beam so i just shoot a laser beam in front of me <laughs> and maybe it shares the cooldown of down special in the air with the laser something like that uh, for Finn, maybe replace BMO with a gem to where you get to throw and maybe it lasts forever on the map unless it falls off the map. So he, that way he has to really utilize it and decide if he wants to go and grab it and risk losing it. So I think that'd be cool. Uh, maybe one where, oh, you no longer get armor on your abilities, but it increases how fast the ability comes out. Something like that. Now, granted, I didn't give it a whole lot of thought of what, how balanced this would be or broken. But my point I'm getting at is I want it to feel like it changes the gameplay. I really like the ability of where uh, dash attacks break armor because you won't use that every match. That's what I want it to feel like. I don't want it to feel like you're using things every match. This is what we're using every match. Snowball effect, last stand, pugilist. Because obviously I want my melee attacks to do more damage. Like what? I feel like you should just let me use whatever perks in whatever slot. Why are you limiting Airwalker versus last stand? Why can't I use Airwalker and Last Stand? You instantly unlock way more uh, viability options. That's all I'll talk about for perks. Uh, here at the last, here's all my other uh, things, kind of miscellaneous. I want multiverses, and I think everyone wants this, multiverses to add their own tournaments. Maybe they have invitational ones, but then they have a similar thing like Fortnite World Cup where anyone could try to join, accumulate the points to be invited to the World Cup. That'd be freaking awesome, dude. Holy shit. The hype that you would be surrounded from that. Another option would be to challenge your friends. I should be able to go on my friends list and have a custom challenge like, hey, first to five, oh wait, let's do a Superman ditto matchup. And they should be able to accept that. And you should have a custom amount. Oh, I want to battle you for 10 toast. And then they should be able to accept it. And I think that'd be cool. Just another way to challenge your friends. I know a lot of uh, controversy would be behind this, but I want voice chat. I think it should be off by default, but I think you should be able to go in there and activate your mic. And when it does, if you get stalked, your mic opens for the other player for at least a few seconds. I think it'd make for some great content. Yes, you might be worried about uh, racism and slurs being thrown out, but that's why it'd be off by default. I And then maybe you could talk after the match as well. And you know, talk a little smack. A lot of people say it would bring toxicity, but sometimes it would. It's just it's just another form of the community. Like, it's a natural part of fighting games to talk shit a little bit. So I think voice chat would be, personally, if done right, really fun. 
Adding a global chat, a text chat in the main menu. Right when I open up multiverses, I want there to be a global text chat, maybe at the bottom left, maybe at the bottom right, where there's an area there. I want to be able to like have a category. Oh, NA, Superman chat uh, for er each individual character to ask questions. I just want there to be a global chat on the bottom right. That'd be so sick, dude, to interact with the community, call people out, mess around. Uh, give tips and tricks and be more involved. That's what it's all about. The community in Moldiverse is, is so beautiful. I love it. I think there should be duo specific ranks. If I join my friend Chance, J Mafia, Howdy, Schism, or Dwall, every time I g a f a fight with them on a 2v2 team, I'm going to get my own ranking. Or us both combined will get the same ranking based on our efforts on our skill level of our team. So me and Schism might be gold, J Mafia and I might be plat, D Wall and I might be master, you know? Because at that point, it's not really based on the character, it's based on your teamwork and your communication, in my opinion. If you do duo queue like that, it should try to find other duo queues, it shouldn't try to find a solo. I know people like to solo, duo queue if they want, I get it, I'm okay with that. I just don't want it to be a duo team going against a one and one team. Another thing they could add that almost every fighter has, or at least Mortal Kombat is the most iconic one. They could add fatalities to the game, just like Mortal Kombat. I think it would be kind of cool, not gonna lie. I'm not, <laughs> I, I, it could be unique and really fun. And last but not least, the characters that I would want in the game is Lord of the Rings characters in my top. I really hope they get the licensing for that and had Samwise Gamgee, my number one favorite. And uh, yeah, I hope Lord of the Rings cast gets in the game because I love that franchise, literally number one of all time. And the other one, when they finally add player first games, stick figure, you know what I want them to do? I want them to be able to customize, let us customize how we want it because he has a stick figure, right? No face, so you could change the color. You could change the face, the hair. It'd be really cool if you could customize that character to your liking, because that's what Moldiverses would all be about. The inclusive, inclusivity, is that a word? Oh my God, I'm trying to sound smart. Of the whole community to where we're all different. We're all enjoying this fighting game together, but we all love each other in, uh, inside the community. So I think that'd be really cool. The crazy is that finally comes to an end of all the stuff I wrote down, all the stuff was coming out of my brain, my big juicy brain for the past week or so. And man, what a yap fest. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, but if you're here at the end, Oh my God, you crazies are a real one. The utmost respect for you and utmost love for my the, my crazies, the beautiful crazies who follow me and who are enjoying my content. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you for 2K. There's gonna be a 2K video soon that I'll need your guys' help with. But with that, crazies, I hope you have a great, fantastic rest of your day. Let me know in the comments below what you like about what I've said or you adding on to it, whether it's game modes, riffs, Anything that you can think of that would be great for multiverses. With that said, I say good night and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Love you, crazies. Goodbye.